It's an unchanged lineup for the Swans today. Tyler Dickinson is in goal. Arsen Oikai at right back. Owen Bolger at left back. Centre back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Kalen Avenal in midfield. It's Alex Kelly, Josh Tobin and Joel Powell with an attacking front three of Stan Flaherty, Nana Wusu and John Gilbert on the bench. Eddie Simon, Cameron Thompson, Anis Nur, Joe Prattley-Jones and Jake Frayling. I think one thing is for sure, we're going to see chances at both ends. We are going to see chances at both ends. It's just a question of who can take them, particularly the early chances. Josh Tobin getting under that one, but Merthyr with a chance to send it wide here. This is a really good opening for Merthyr if they can work it, but that one sails into the terrace behind the goal so he's just there to the left in the 21-22 uh, classic football shirts Walton top ball given away and Joel Powell with a sharp pass into Nana the Swans find it opening up here John Gilbert driving into the box goes wide Gilbert goes across but that one's straight into the palms of Will Fuller in the mouth well, yeah several hundred people tuning in now across YouTube and TikTok if you're on TikTok I want to see those likes spammed Nana Wusu getting in he's got Stan Flaherty to the right Nana can go alone and does shoots all and it's palmed away by Fuller and out for a corner once again the Swans able to catch Merthyr out of the back yeah a few people asking how come we can stream the 3 p.m. Saturday game well the blackout is not active because of the international break so that 3 p.m. blackout switches off every time there's an international break hence we are streaming today no better game to be able to stream for Stan Flaherty comes inside Parried. Uh, Alex Kelly gambled a touch too early there. Curtailed his season and uh, Swan's career. He was devastated after yeah, that as well, wasn't it he? It was devastating. Ball but across the flat. He was going to reach this. He's got support arriving in the box in the form of Alex Kelly and Nana Wusu past his man. Flatty with a shot oh. into the side netting. And that was perhaps the best opening of the game there. As he did well to it was the ball past his man, but he decided to go for goal alone. It was going to have to be something spectacular. Yeah. Running at fullbacks up and down the country. Smith and will have a group of other. Yeah, Nick Wenk, our sponsor from the film, guys. Our short sponsor. Oh, yeah. All into the box. Yeah. That's a goal there from Gethin Hill. Timed ever so well. Header into the far corner. Ball came from more or less nothing. Just clipped into the box. He out jumps the Walton centre back. I didn't quite see who it was. Know how dangerous Merthyr can be on the counter, knowing that the Swans are going to start to build the pressure now to get back into the game. Swans once again coming forward. Joel Powell on the right hand side into the box. Skips past his man. Brilliant chance for Powell. Palmed away by Fuller. And that one's out for a throw in. That's probably the Swans' best chance of the game so far. Goff travels into midfield. Spreads it to Farsi. Farsi has been the danger man for this one so far. Runs at Smith and again. Plays it in. Oh, Goal ball. gets Love under control. Oh. Arson could pick a ball here and he goes towards the back stick. Alex Kelly is there but can't get over it. John Gilbert's not going to be able to keep that one in. Once again, the Swans with another good chance. Here come Merthyr. Well in from Gilbert who recovers well. Kelly, Kelly plays to play to Joel. Here comes Stan on the ball. One against gets mid and cuts inside. Looks to play a pass. Nana on the ball now. Back to Tobin and out wide to Gilbert. Can Gilbert take his man on? Gilbert driving inside. Gilbert shoots. Oh, it's not that far, is it? It's not that far. Ball in from Stan here. Towards Avenal. Goff gets up in the end. Oh, what a shot and a goal! Oh! The Swans have scored from a corner! It's and it's Arson! It's Arson! <laughs> Turned it in at the near post. Ball bounced around a fair bit. Fantastic from Arsenal. One touch finish. So composed in the end. Well, it wasn't really. It was just. It was just reaction timing. Should have come down to the game, son. Anyway, Nana, back to Stan. Stan, Stan shoots all. Oh. Just dragged in the end, but last ten minutes, Swans have really grown into the game. Kelly makes the run, but instead he goes wide to Anis. Switch to Anis, and Anis is one on one here, really, with his man. Sees Owen on the overlap, but cuts inside, gets the cross in. And ball it falls comes back out to, to Owen. He's onside, but here comes Anis. Drives at his man, ball across. Can Kelly get there? No, he can't. But Anis, Anis will get another second chance. Cherry. Similar position. Into the box now from Anis. Sets his man down, pulls it back. Anis cross. Go! 
Oh, surely no! Shot came from Powell in the end. Paul, Powell and... On the edge of the six yard box, you thought it had to go in. I mentioned After the... Win to Stan. Can Stan get a shot from range? He's given it to Alex Kelly, who's maybe looking for Anis again. Anis on the left-hand side now. Left one on one again. Anis cuts inside, oh. cuts back outside, tricking us, and it's... To Nana, to volley. Oh, good effort. Falls to Arson, to Tobin, Tobin who lays it sends well. It. Tobin sends it back to the hub. Josh from Tobin. so well. And it's and Joel Powell, Powell right here. Down the line from Powell. Powell. Heavy touch, but he can chase it down. Look at that, Powell. Anyone in the box, cuts back, can set Stan. Right, Stan. Stan up against Smearden. He's had him in his pocket all day. Inside to Tobin. Tobin with the ball. Does well to evade Hill. Slips, Slips slightly. Slips a little bit, yeah. Got his head up now. Back to Stan. Stan looking at Arsenal, but cuts inside instead. We'll have Stan a shot. Shoots. It wobbles. There's a lot of movement on that. And it'll force a pal. Takes a turn. Shoots again. Oh, oh line. What a line. chance. <laughs> what a chance. Here's Kelly and Swans can build again. And he's get back on side though. Oh, make himself an option. Here's Anis. Can we switch it? You yeah, fine, Stan. It and it's to Stan this time. Come on, Stan. Drives down the right-hand side, and he's inside the box here. Gives oh. it back to Joel Powell, who spins. Can he shoot? Oh, oh what a block. Deflected. Joel Powell with a great spin. It's oh. off the line by Gosh. the defender. What? Who was that? Swans are getting close. I didn't even see what happened there. Did it come off a Merthyr? It must have come off a Merthyr player. It did, yes. It was number 20. About four minutes to go here in added time in a 90-second minute now. Can the Swans create something? Powell down Scooper the right-hand side. He's beats his man into the box. Crossed it in. It's Kelly! It's Kelly! It's Kelly! It's Kelly! It's Kelly! It's oh, my Kelly. word! No! Oh, what a ball! Oh. Powell, Kelly with the shot. Off the bar and bounced Off down. I've seen. What a chance. By the way, Stan. Going to whip this near it's corner, what it is. Get down, oh, it yeah. doesn't quite. Good chance goes to Beggin. Oh. Up Anis, towards Anis, great Anis first touch. it down and Arson to Tobin. Can the Swans create one more attack? Tobin clips Tobin. forward. In behind the defender. Can Stan get there? Stan. He will. Great first touch. Here he Stan comes. Crosses it in. Crosses it in. Get Alex out. Kelly. Oh, Alex oh, Kelly arriving. He can't get there. Alex will try keeping this in. Can he? Mercer coach wants the game over. Ball comes long. And that's the final yeah, whistle. Look, I had a really, really impressive performance in Wales for the Swans. To come all this way and to perform like they did. You know, almost gutted to have not, lot, to, to have not won. But at the end of the day, a point's a point, And it's a good point. Here with the manager, Scott Harris. Probably one of the most dominant games of football this season of any club and one of the most dominant second halves I've seen us ever play uh, but unfortunately unable to come away with the three points today what was your assessment of today's game yeah yeah it's pretty accurate mate um, I think when you're taking into account the the level of opponent the fact that we're in their territory um, and come here and put on a display like that it makes me extra proud um, especially given the fact there's a lot riding on the game. It'd be very easy to... When you, what, what you often see in games when there's sort of a lot on the line, teams tend to clam up a little bit and don't do the things that they're normally uh, doing on a weekly basis and everyone wants, goes into not wanting to make a mistake mode. I think our guys were so brave today. Um, took the ball in all areas. Um, competed as well on the other side of the ball. Every time we lost it, winning it back with in, in quick fashion. Um, and it really, really did grind them down over a period of time in, in, in the game there. And mm. uh, unfortunate, really unfortunate, not to come away with a, a winning goal at the end there. A couple of good saves, a couple of blocks on the line, the bar down from Alex that did it go in or didn't it? Um, numerous occasions to the byline. Anis come on and caused, caused havoc um, mm. in that last stage of the game. And it leaves you with a a feeling of obviously what could have been but at the same time I'm okay I'm okay with the result actually as well mm. despite the fact that we that we should have won the game um, because you know we're, we're as we were before the game and yes there's another game uh, ticked off but I feel that we're carrying some good momentum right now as mm. far as 
what I always look at, mate, is it might, maybe even more so than results, is how, how are you playing? How are you playing? And yeah. even in a couple of the games recently that we haven't won, the standard of performance has still been there. Yeah. Um, and today, obviously, was, was one, another one of those. Yeah. What was said at half-time, because obviously going into that, going into the dressing room, obviously, p perhaps undeservedly, we might feel, having oh. played very well and them taking the only real chance of the first half. What was said at half-time to spur that? that comeback and momentum shift? Well, we've, first of all, we've been there many times before, needing to sort of carry the game to the other team in the second halves. Um, so it's, that's normal for us. But funnily enough, mate, I would actually maybe backtrack a little bit and say I think that was one of our best first halves in, in quite some time. Um, the, the amount of ball we had, the amount of discipline that the guys showed in sticking to the plan with some of the things we've worked on defensively especially um, Josh Tobin I thought was outstanding in doing his doing his job in there um, Mitchell Goff playing on one leg from almost well from the warm up yeah. he, he, he's damaged his hamstring I think I don't know how he got through that game and then you look at how well he played yeah. outstanding absolutely outstanding but in answer to your question about half time uh yeah, it, like I say it's quite a normal a normal talk for us mm. being down at half time but it was just one of those where we knew that Murpha would be maybe happy to sort of receive the game um, and we just had to find a way to get to the spots we want to get to to be able to make a, a can't miss chance um, and ironically it was a set piece that got us a goal uh, after wasting a few corners and not making the most of a few earlier in the game uh, finally Arsenal stuck one in so yeah Looking ahead to Thursday um, a chance to go back into the playoff spots for the first time in 2024 and really put the pressure back on Merthyr and, and Bracknell and the other teams um, below us. What would your message to, to the fans be ahead of Thursday's game? Well, first of all, obviously, underlining the fact that it's a Thursday, um, which is obviously unusual for football fans to come out and watch a game on a Thursday night unless you're going to West Ham at the London Stadium <laughs> or so in the, the Europa. Yeah. But no, all, all jokes aside, it's, it's, a, it's a unique thing playing on a Thursday for us. We've never done it. And... Yeah. Hopefully it can bring a few people maybe from other clubs that, you know, would like to go out and watch a game. Yeah. So I would, you know, insist on people coming and trying it out. You know, it's it's normally been good entertainment coming and watching us at home. Yeah. Uh, but also, there's, like you say, there's the added layer of uh, it's an important game. Mm -hmm. And Harrow gave us gave us a tough game, it seems like, years ago, right at the start of the season back there. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, listen, we've got to just keep playing well. We keep playing well. The results will come, hopefully. You'll get moments where things don't quite go for you and, it, and you've got to keep believing. But, yeah, if we put down another performance like today, then uh, first of all, I think people will get their money's worth on Thursday. And secondly, we should get, you know, a value uh, points amount that should, that should you know, stand up to the performance. Yeah. Finally, uh, quite a few travelling Swans fans today always coming here and yeah. get support. What yeah. do you have to say about our, our fans and their support this season, not least today? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously Murph had a lot here today as well. It was a really good atmosphere at the game, but um, definitely knew that there was Walton support here. Uh, they made themselves seen. Um, and it's been brilliant all season. It's been, uh, it's been I've really enjoyed this season. Um, I think our away form has been good enough to encourage people to keep coming and following us away. Yeah. Um, which some people doubted at the start of the season, what it would be like with some of the journeys and some mm. of the pitches maybe you go and play on. I think we've, we've coped with it all really well. Yep. Um, and our following has been brilliant all season and hopefully it just continues to grow because it's a good story. It's a good story to follow and there's still hopefully <coughs> maybe another happy ending at, at, at the back end of it, but it's a long way to go. Yeah. The Swans come away from Merthyr with an important point and move on to Thursday's crucial game at home to Harrowborough. Please come down if you can, bring friends and family. Mm -hmm. It is going to be a cracker. We'll see you guys then.